Hey, how's it going everybody? So, Masterminds is a new comedy film directed by Jared Hess. It is based on the 1997 true story of an employee from an armored car company named David Gant who was successful in stealing 17 million dollars. This was done with the help of a former employee who he was kind of in a relationship with and some of her cohorts. It led to David being exiled to Mexico where he was under the impression that she was going to be joining him but instead they sent a hitman to take care of him. Now, if you've seen my recent video of my top 10 most favorite movies of all time, you'll know that Napoleon Dynamite was on that list. I absolutely love that movie, and the director of that, Jared Hess, I've been following his stuff. I really dug Nacho Libre. Gentlemen Broncos, not so much. But naturally it made me looking forward to this movie. However, I did read a lot of negative reviews to the point where it brought my expectations way down. So going into it with an open mind, I didn't really know what to expect. But look, I didn't mind it. I can see why people don't like it because it was that typical Jared Hess kind of quirkiness. If you've seen Napoleon Dynamite or any of his other films, you'll know what to expect. I mean, everybody looks really weird. Everyone has weird hairstyles, weird clothes. It was a very quirky sort of movie. The only thing was, this is the first movie that he's directed that he didn't actually write. And as a result of that, it definitely wasn't as good as some of his earlier stuff. So essentially what we ended up with was a mediocre movie that was vastly improved upon by great directing. This movie has actually been pushed back and pushed back for a couple of years or so now, and I can kind of see why, because it's just not going to be everybody's cup of tea. I thought the performances were really good, Zach Galifianakis was particularly funny, especially especially his weird facial expressions, which, again, I attribute to good directing. Kristen Wiig was funny as always. I actually really liked Kate McKinnon's performance as the psychotic fiancé of David Gant. Man, this woman knows how to do crazy. But unfortunately, even though the performances were good, they just couldn't save it from having shallow characters. I mean, that's the thing. It just wasn't very well written. If you look at a lot of Hess's previous work, like Napoleon Dynamite, I mean, yeah, everyone looks really weird, but they were also great characters. They were so unique and original. Whereas this time around, the characters just didn't really feel that three-dimensional, and I didn't really care enough about them for what was going on. And aside from that, I just kind of thought the humor was a little bit unbalanced throughout the film. It was never gut-bustingly funny, but at the same time, there were a few gags I thought didn't really work, particularly some poop and fart gags, which I just thought seemed out of place in the film. But like I said, this film seems to be drawing a lot of different opinions from various people, so I'm going to throw it over to my good friend Captain Cinema, and let's find out what he thought of it. Hi, I'm Captain Cinema. It's good to see the cast of the new Ghostbusters reuniting again. Kristen Wiig, Kate McKinnon, Leslie Jones, Melissa McCarthy wearing a beard? Such a welcome relief. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, dude, that wasn't Melissa McCarthy in a beard. That was Zach Galifianakis. What? Are, are you serious? That was Zach Galifianakis? <laughs> Suddenly it makes sense. Anyways, it oozed the traditional awkward humor you'd come to expect from the same guy that did Napoleon Dynamite. And Gentleman Broncos. What makes this so strange is that for the most part, it's a faithful depiction of what actually happened. David Gant, an Iraqi war vet who worked as a Loomis Fargo vault superintendent, pulled off the second biggest heist in U.S. history right here in Charlotte. I'm sweating, my heart's going, but I, and once again, I hate to say this, I never felt so alive. Because you just stole on $17 million. I just stole on $17 million. Now, this is a true crime comedy and its success or lack thereof. Personally, I didn't really care for this movie. However, there was one thing the movie did great. The bromance between Zach Galifianakis and Jason Sudeikis. Aside from that, you have the insanely funny Kate McKinnon wasted in a bad performance. That would have been the funniest part. Leslie Jones was decent. She didn't overdo her performance like she's known for and prove that she can give a solid performance. Then there was this ham. Y you know what? Let's give him a call. Ahoy? Owen, we need to talk. Wow, who's this? It's Captain Cinema. We need to talk about Masterminds. Wow, you know, Masterminds. 
That Masterminds was actually, such a really no. good movie. So interesting. It was wild. The fact no. that it actually happened in real life. Wow. No. And then I got to work with Zach Galifianakis. No. It was so amazing. And the lovely and talented. Oh, You're not going to oh, shut up, Oh, it's just so up, amazing and so wonderful. Such a great uh, performance. Oh, I, I'm I Captain just, I wanted Cinema. to get in touch with my character. And that's just so I went my down opinion. And I lived in a car. He's not the only one who gets to call a ham. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? This is Ham. Hey, Ham, what you up to? Oh, not much, dude. I'm just chilling. Get it? Because I'm in the fridge. Uh, sorry. Sorry about that. I just couldn't help myself. So like I said, I didn't dislike this movie. I definitely thought it was passable entertainment. It's not the sort of thing you need to see on the big screen. It'd be perfect at home on Netflix or something like that on the smaller screen. But as I said before, this is definitely a case of a mediocre script that was elevated by a good director. And I'm going to give Masterminds a 6 out of 10. And a big thank you again to my friend Captain Cinema for joining me on this review. If you want to have a look at some of his stuff, I'll pop a link to his channel down below and also at the end of this video. And in the meantime, if you've seen Masterminds, let me know what your thoughts were of it. I'm interested to hear some opinions from some non-Jared Hess fans. So drop me some comments either here or on Facebook. All my social media links are down below because I like to talk about movies and I would love to talk about movies with you. Catch you next time. Click subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest movie reviews. Skynet will be taking over any day now, so what have you got to lose? Nyaaah!